So today we are back in Northumberland and we've come up today to find the Dragonstone and also to find Harbour Old Castle ruins. Um, so right now we're just making our way up the footpath through the moors um, on the way to see the Dragonstone which is right here and just soaking in these absolutely beautiful views. It's a really nice sunny day so yeah let's do it. which is what you can see behind me and this comes from the old Norse word for dragon as well so it's a dragon stone um, there's a lot of Nordic influence in this area um, as you see in the video that I did on the Simon Side Hills as well um, so there's a lot of folklore about this stone and basically it's said to um, heal people from illnesses so it, even in the very recent times it was tradition to pass a ill child over the stone and it was said to heal them um, there's actually a guide written um, in the late 1800s and it was like a guide to Northumberland and they said that the mortality rate in Morpeth and the surrounding area was really really low and that child deaths were really low um, so yeah maybe it's to do with this stone but yeah this is it um, it may be called dragon stone just because of the shape of it it's kind of like a dragon's head um, but yeah that's that So we've just come up from the Drake Stone along the Moors to Hobbottle Loft, which is what you can see behind me. And there's a little bit of folklore about this place as well. Um, it's said that a mythical creature dwells in this little lake and that it will attack anyone who tries to meddle with the lake. So there's a story uh, where some workers were asked to drain um, the loft and they said that they heard some kind of ghostly voice coming from it saying, um, if they would, if they were going to drain it, then they would be drowned. So that could be that there's a mythical creature living in the loft, or it could just be that the workmen couldn't be bothered, and so they thought they would come up with a story to try and get out of the job. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's a lot of old stories about the fae folk, like fairies and uh, mythical creatures that um, guard places like this. So yeah, this is it.
So right here we are stood in the ruins of Harbottle Castle. We know that there's been fortifications on this site for quite a long time. Um, the first ones would have just been a wooden Martin Bailey kind of structure um, in about the 1060s. Um, but in about the 1160s, um, the Earl of Umpreville would have built this in stone and it basically would have been as a defence against the Scottish. Um, we're right on the Scottish borders here pretty much so there would be constant invasions, it was a really turbulent time. Um, and basically this castle kind of just fell in and out of the hands of the English and the Scots. It was captured by Robert de Ross, Robert the Bruce and yeah it was besieged a ton and it was destroyed and rebuilt over and over. Uh, and then basically it just kind of fell into the cycle of disrepair for quite a while. Um, it kept getting rebuilt and then just the stone was used for something else and was quarried. Um, and by the 1600s it was a ruin, it was pretty much like this. Um, it's quite confusing but there's actually another place called Harbottle Castle which is just this big manor house. And basically the guy just came and took all of the stone from this castle and built his house with it. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty much just a total ruin now, but it was even in the 1600s. But it's a really, really beautiful place to look around. The views are insane. Um, it's a really tactical location right high up here and on the Scottish borders. And yeah, it's just a really beautiful place. According to local legends and folklore, there's actually a series of tunnels deep within the ground under this castle which leads to other places in the Simon Side Hills up here and other castles as well. Um, there's been a lot of excavations done and no one's ever found anything like that. But we do know that other castles in the area have got really complex tunnel systems under them so it could be that there are tunnels deep underneath this castle but they're kind of lost to history now. <laughs> 